everyone, and welcome back to another Watson Brothers Team Stats video. We are here to cover the last stats of the year, 2023, December. And then we're also going to cover our 2023 predictions, what we thought that they did this year, along with 2024 predictions moving forward. So, Ian, if you want to start off with those stats. Sure. Thanks, Avery. The 2023 year ended, uh, I'm not going to say with a roar or like a lamb. It was a pretty average year. If you look at listings, the amount of units listed right across the market was down about 1.2%, so almost negligible, we'll call that flat. However, units sold were down 16%, and the sales volume of those units being sold was down almost 24%. So that gap means that prices have fallen. And they have fallen, as we'll talk about in a second, um, in different rates for houses, townhomes, and single family. The average days to sell a house now is up to 57 days which is 40% um, more than it was at the same time last year. So that means that sellers need to be patient because the days of putting a for sale sign up and it being sold the next day are definitely gone. Let me just talk specifically about the individual markets that we follow in terms of single families, uh, townhomes and apartments. The current activity in terms of the amount of inventory that's out there, the, the single family residential homes, the amounts listed were down 8%, apartments were up 2% and townhouses were called flat. So you can see inventory is tight, even though um, the numbers of units are selling. And that leads us to our last thing, which is the, the sales activity year to date. So when you're looking at your uh, BC assessments, you saw they're probably down. The overall market is down and we're off anywhere from anywhere from about 10 to 11 to 12 percent, depending on if you live in a townhouse, single family house or an apartment. Do we think those gains will come back? Yes. Were they inflated? Yes. So I think that those are part of the things that we can talk about for 2024, and there'll be things that we're going to talk about in a moment that will impact those gains or losses for next year. Absolutely. Before we talk about our predictions going forward, I think we need to take a look at what we predicted last year and how we did. With a few things that are really impacting the, the current inflation rate, we think that the price of oil, uh, reflecting the price of gas, is going to come down. The price of a barrel will in fact go up is our prediction. The price of a liter of fuel will come down. Why are we talking about gas and real estate? Because we know how big an impact that has on the Alberta economy. We can already see it uh, rocking and rolling in Calgary. Their market is incredible right now. When they get money, they don't spend it quite often locally. They bring it across the mountain to us. So we don't see any giant crashes coming. Uh, what we do predict is in fact the opposite. Inventory is incredibly tight. Their interest rates are going to balance out in 2023. So we see the apartment and townhome market um, doing better mm -hmm. than the market as a whole and the single family market remaining incredibly tight. Hi everyone, I am back. I did not make a New Year's resolution to rejoin the team. Mm -hmm. I am only here today for the one of my favorite episodes is seeing how we did the year before with our predictions. I wanted to come defend my position for fear that the two on my left may try and steal <laughs> some of my thunder. Hmm. My prediction, big one, was oil prices and Alberta. When Alberta does well, that money gets loaded into their car and it gets driven across the mountains and they spend it here in, in real estate. Where my prediction was correct was, yes, oil has done uh, quite well and it's put a lot of money into those Alberta pockets. However, what I didn't predict was how much the Albertans do not like being told how they have to own real estate, buy real estate, enjoy real estate. And that's what, unfortunately, our political government has done here provincially over the last year. I didn't see that coming, so I will say I was correct that their economy would take off. It's probably a great place to, to be living right now. Mm -hmm. However, missed it a little bit on the backside. The other uh, predictions that we made were that the market would remain relatively flat and stable throughout the year, which we believe it did. The um, interest rates, we kind of underestimated how much of an impact and how long it would take for interest rates to peak. We had thought that we would be, we would be done with it by end of uh, by middle of last year. Unfortunately, uh, the rates kept rising and it's only now that we're starting to see things either plateau or hopefully with the next announcement early in January here, start to come down. Um, I think the other thing that we talked about was that there was no crash. Uh, we said that there would not be a crash in the marketplace and there was not. We said that inventory would remain tight, which it, which it has, as we just mentioned in the stats from this, this previous year. The other thing that we did talk about and we predicted was the dollar volume. And we were, um, we were about a billion dollars less than the year before. So we were, we were pretty close on that one as well. So I think we did okay on our predictions for last year. Mm -hmm, absolutely. How does it look for this year? Um, I'm going to go first and talk about my predictions and then we'll let Avery talk about what she's thinking. 
I believe, again, that there will not be a crash. We have not seen any, any uh, increase in the foreclosures that are, um, that are coming across the real estate desks of realtors. They just, uh, they just do not exist in any great number right now. So you, I do believe interest rates will come down. What I do believe is that this market uh, coming up to 2024 will be split almost in two. In um, January to June, I believe it's going to remain solidly for buyers. So if, as an advantage to our clients, if you need to buy or you want to buy, now is the time because I believe once June hits or we get halfway through and interest rates start taking their effect on the downward, uh, downward curve, that people are going to start buying. All those people that haven't been in the market for any great length of time, they're going to hop in. And when they do, as you, we just told you with our inventory, it's super tight. So they're all going to be fighting over limited inventory. If you want to not fight over limited inventory, buy before June. Absolutely. To kind of pivot off of what Ian said about um, some advantages, I have a couple of advantages for buyer sellers. Um, start off with buyers, as Ian said, and as we said in numerous past videos, that it is definitely a buyer's market right now. And again, like Ian said, halfway through the year when that does shift, it will kind of turn into more of hopefully a balanced market. So those sellers out there, just stay patient. Um, your time is going to come. Um, hold on to it until then. It's coming. It is. I promise. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, Avery, thing, Avery's prediction. Yeah. Another thing is for those homeowners, if you are thinking about selling, if you're not thinking about selling, we would love to come in, give you a free home market evaluation, no obligation, let you know what your home is worth. So you can either plan to sell, think about wanting to sell, think about your next step. Along with that, um, mortgage holders. So whether you're wanting to renew your mortgage or sorry, needing to renew your mortgage, or you're just curious about what these new rates might mean for your mortgage payments and your mortgage, just give us a call. We work with a really amazing mortgage broker, mortgage broker sorry, uh, team that we would love to get you in contact with, even to just have a conversation, because it's always good to know. And I think that um, knowledge is key. And that's one of the things that we like to provide to our clients is our years of service and our years of expertise, we're able to say, now is a good time for you to do this, or maybe it's not a great time for you to do this. So um, give us a call at any time for real estate information, 250-712. I've forgotten our number. <laughs> two, 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 two. two. two.